Lincoln City 2, Morecambe 3. We, Lincoln City, have lost our final away game of the season yesterday. I, Cornell B, was honoured to go to the last away day of the season. And I really wanted us to get another W and really bounce back from that Burton Albion defeat at home. But unfortunately, we suffered. And Cole Stockton put us out of our misery. He was their difference for Morecambe. He made them work. He scored the goals. And that's the reason why Stockton murked us up and made us look like fools on the pitch, especially in that second half. And we, Lincoln City, have slumped to a 3-2 defeat and I Cornell B is disappointed and upset with the result. I Cornell B was not happy with that second half performance. It needs the second half, especially on the last home game of the season, has to improve, fam. It has to improve. It has to be better. But better performances, especially to close the last home game of the season, has to go out with a bang. And we, Lincoln City, didn't go out with a bang. We absolutely got absolutely hammered against Morecambe. And it was disappointing, fam. Just no, fam. Just no. Back again. Please welcome to the Instinct Podcast Show with me, Cornell B, live and direct. Before we get into the video, smash a like on my YouTube video. Keep leaving a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about yesterday's game. And also, thank you to the 380 subscribers who are subscribed to my YouTube channel. It means a lot. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'd love to get it up to 381 or even more, 382 fam. It would be very, very appreciated. And first of all, before I get into the match review, I'd like to say a big massive shout out to the Grizzling, the Sizzling Griddle Cafe on Burton Road. Big up yourself. Big up Jess. Big up Jules up in, in, in the grizzling in the in the sizzling grizzle grizzle cafe. Hope I said that correct. I think I did, but if I didn't, I do apologize. I do apologize for that. But big them up. Obviously, the breakfast, the big breakfast was absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Jules, Jess at the sizzling griddle, big up yourself. 10 out of 10. You get me. So let's get into the match review. Obviously. Yesterday, I went to the last away game of the season, of this season. I, Cornell B, was I absolutely enjoyed myself there. I enjoyed myself with the fans. I enjoyed myself with, with the rest of the Imps, Imps fans. Although, at halftime, something really dramatic happened. Had picture with two gal. Obviously, it was amazing. That was even amazing. I can't help that. I'm a ladies man. But obviously, listen, at the end of the day, us Lincoln City, Obviously, slumped to a 3-2 loss late yesterday. And I, Cornell B, was disappointed. I couldn't be disappointed even more. Because I was so hyped up going into this game. Going into this last away game. And so, you know what? Let's close the last away day with a bang. And that is to end the, end the, the, way, the last away game with a win. We actually didn't manage to do that. Obviously. Let's, let, I'll go into it in more detail. The first half, yeah. I mean, obviously, there was no Adam Jackson because, obviously, he's still out injured. But it was good to see Danny Mandroyu in the team. Obviously, Ben House, Shadipo. Obviously, first half, the link-up play between Shadipo and, and, and Mandroyu was really, really good. I thought the first goal was well taken. Sorensen does what he always does. Big up last Sorensen. He scores like he always does. And that's why we nickname him the Danish King. You know them way there. You know them way there. I, Cornell B, obviously, um, absolutely happy with Sorensen. Mighty Virtue, second goal, killed the game off after after half time. That was a brilliant, brilliant goal from from Mighty Virtue. And I thought the way we defended in that first half was really, really good. And it was all us. And Morecambe couldn't handle us. They couldn't handle us in the first half. And I said, you know what? Half time, I see us getting a second goal. And Sid said, done. We got a second goal. Matty Virtue scored the second goal. And then we're cruising. We're cruising, we're cruising, we're cruising. And then for some reason, we were too comfortable at the back. We started to be too uncomfortable, forward slash uncomfortable as a team. And then we give the game away. And then obviously, listen, the, their first goal, Cole Stockton does what he always does. Although the aim was to keep Cole Stockton quiet. 
we didn't get a chance to keep Cole Stockton quiet. And that's the reason why he is their best player. That is the reason why he scores goals for fun. Do you know, do you know what I mean? And, and that's the reason why, you know, he did what he did. The first goal, their first goal, Rushworth had no chance of saving it. The second goal, their second equalising goal, that could have been avoided. And and this is my only my neg- only negative vibe I'll probably say is that Carl Rushworth is a fantastic goalkeeper. Absolutely. And he's been the standout player this season. And although he was shy, and everyone was criticising him saying, you know, why is he not performing well? But you know what? Carl Rushworth always performs well. But them two, but them ha- only thing I like him to improve on, don't come out your goal too quickly. Because if you do that, the opposition will find a way to put it in the empty net. Stay on your goal line. Let the, let the opponent come to you and then make the save. And, and obviously, keep up the distributions that is going on. But make the keep only one little negative improvement I like to see from Carl Rush with is improve on the distributions, especially coming out of goal. If you know they're going to come to you, you know the opponent's coming, wait for the right opportunity and then make the move. And I'd like to see Carl Rush with improve on that. And when he improves on that, he will get better and better and better. You get me? But big up Carl Rush with. And also, how fantastic it was to see Ethan Aron's mum and his sister. Big up Ethan Aron's mum and big up Ethan Aron's sister. And also big up Ethan Aron too. And big up Mr. Neil Rushworth as well. Big up Carl Rushworth's dad. It was amazing seeing him. You understand what I'm saying? It was brilliant. But the performance, when they equalised, the game changed. And I thought, you know what? 2-2. Two, two. We can easily get one. We had chances from Mandroyu, chances from Max Sanders. We could have had three or four goals. But then we switch off. And this is the thing I don't like about our sims. When we're, when we're comfortable in the game, we switch off. And we have to improve on that for next season. Because there are going to be teams, especially when you've got Blackpool, you've got Wigan, and obviously Reading coming down. They're going to be tough teams, not just them, but Leighton Orient, Stevenage for next season, especially big teams. We can't switch off. We can't switch off like that. We have to be on our A game. And when we're on our A game, then we start playing better. But yesterday, we didn't play well, especially in that second half. It was poor in that game. Ben House didn't have a very, very good game. He looked isolated. He looked like something's not right. I hope Ben House is all right. Manjoy was a little bit poor. Although, first half, he was so much better. I thought the whole team was off. Especially when we allowed them to score them free goal. And the reason why they scored. Because obviously their objective was to stay up in League 1 for next season. And obviously Cole Stockton is their heart and saviour. Suit and armour. And he was their suit and armour fam. And it was like. When he scored the winning goal. The game was over. And you could see that. And that was where the dominance started. Even when they equalised. The Morecambe dominance started to dominate. And we couldn't handle it. And we cannot play the way like we play. When I say 8 minutes. I thought. Why can't we just go on. And get an equalising goal. Man draw you going off injured. Obviously walked under his own power. Fingers crossed it's not that serious. And Luke Planch comes on. Duffy comes on. And try and do something. Makama comes on and tries and does something. But it just didn't go in our favour like we expected. But, like I said, it's disappointing to lose the last away game. Upsetting to see no smiles on faces, but we managed to clap them off. And clap the players off and because of our support. But like I say, we've got one more game. And I want to see Lincoln City... Make this one more home game, last game, a special one. I want to see a better improved second half. First half is okay. 
But the second half has to be better. We cannot be defending like that. And we cannot be playing the way that we played. Because we played into their hands. And that's the reason why they pulled, they pulled the first goal back. The equalizer goal. And killed the game off with a winner. And when you got Cole Stockton. Who runs crazy. And runs riot. Goal scoring number nine. Is always difficult. But like I say. There is an improvement to come, come the summer and next season from Mark Kennedy. And when this season is over, players going on their holiday, there is going to be changes. Mark Kennedy ain't messing about in the summer. I'll tell you that. And all this talk about us staying in League One for more years. Listen, enough of the negative talk, yeah? Enough of the negative pessimistic BS. Lincoln City ain't staying in League One for no more any for no more seasons. We are going to challenge for top half finish next season. You understand what I'm saying? And once again, us Lincoln City will be challenging for a playoff or even better automatic promotion. Less than a negative, man. But yeah, absolutely disappointing to lose. But a bounce back ability is needed next Saturday. Keep smashing a like on my YouTube video. Thank you for the 380 subscribers who are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Love to get up to 381 or even better, 382. It'll be very, very appreciated. Not far away from the, from the 400. Not far away. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week, next Saturday for the last home, away get, home game, which is against the Shrewsbury. And a bounce back is needed. Back again.